Hello, ma'am. How are you doing this morning? Morning, ma'am. Fat and beautiful. Ooh, wow. Should we get started? All right. You've lived in Hot Springs quite some time. Yes, ma'am. Been to Hot Springs. Been to Hot Springs 57 years. That's a long time. A lot of changes come since then. I've seen lots of changes here. Change from wind sidewalks and little wood buildings. Your name's Hudgens. I know the Hudgens. You know Miss Noah well. Did you happen to know Adeline as well? Did I know Adeline? <laughs> I know Adeline. Her boss children made of mine, just like they was hers. She took good care of them. Adeline thought every one of those children were made out of pure gold. Pure gold. She made a mind too. I remember once she was down on Central Avenue uh, with Ross and he did something that big for nice. <laughs> she walked over to the umbrella stand. And you remember how they used to have the umbrellas out in front of the stalls? She grabbed an umbrella. She whipped Ross with it. And she didn't hurt him. Then she put it back in the stand. She told that store owner, if that umbrella was hurt, you just charge it to her. Paul That's the way Adeline was. Oh, so she's still alive. Oh, how yeah, I like to see her. So where were you born then? I was born on Green River near Hartford, Kentucky. I guess I was about a year and a half old when my mistress married. Mother tell me. Don't know how she was ever met my master. Uh, she was raised in a convent. His folks lived a long way from her. But anyhow, she did. She was 13 when she married. And what was your master's name? Charles Moore. M O O R E. M A N. They had a son called Charles Wycliffe Mormon. He was named for his mother's. I got a son called Charles Wycliffe. We live in Kentucky. Mr. Charles Wycliffe Mormon. And sometimes, sometimes I get letters from him. What was your life like back before the war? Well, Miss Mary, I guess, I guess I had a pretty easy time in slavery days. It was good to us. Besides, I worked in the house. Once I heard a man say to my mother, you could put on a white wool shirt and lie down in the middle of her kitchen floor and still not get dirty. <laughs> so did you work in the kitchen cooking? Cook? No, ma'am. I never cooked until I was, oh, after I was married. And I never washed, never washed a rag. All I washed was the babies that made my mistress feet. I was a lazy lady. <laughs> I'd wait on my mistress and I knit socks for all the folks. When they would sleep, it was our duty. Us maids to fan them, fan them with the, the turkey feathers. Fan the fans. <laughs> Were you fed well? No, Miss Mills. We didn't get such good food. Mm -hmm. Nobody had all the kinds of things we have today. We had mostly buttermilk, cornbread, fat nap. Did you ever get cake? Cake? Deep, we didn't. I remember they baked cake. And Mr. Charles Wycliffe, he was just a little boy then. He got in and took a whole fistful of cake. And when Miss when, when Miss found out about it, she gave us all doses of salt, enough to make us all throw up. And she gave it to all the slaves and the children, the white children. And you know what she found out? Oh, so I did it! <laughs> what about the war? What do you remember? So much of the war that was fought around us. Did you hear any shooting around you? No, I didn't hear anything from the war myself. What about soldiers? Did they pass through? Yes, ma'am. The Confederates used to come through lots. I remember how we used to go to the spring for water for them. Once the Yankees come by the place, they went out to the slaves' quarters and they tried to get them to rise up, told them to come on in the big house and take what they wanted. Next morning, we told Master, he got scared and moved. It was near the end of the war, and we was already free on the we didn't know it yet. He moved on up to Stevensport. He took a brother of mine and another black boy. What happened after you were freed? I got married. My husband.
husband asked my master, master if he could marry me, and he told me, you're a good man. You can come and live on my farm and work for me, but you can't have that. <laughs> so we moved off to his, to his master's farm. A little while after that, his master bought a big farm in Arkansas. He started out well, but the first summer he died, so sold everything he had. And then came the auction, and he told us to come on up to, to Woodruff County and work for him. We was there seven years, and he worked the farm and took care of myself and my babies. Then he went off and left me. What did you do then to support yourself and your children? I went to the country and started working there. Finally, he wrote me and tried to get me to stay. We had never been married. Said he wanted um, to marry another woman. The white folks I worked for, though, they wouldn't let me do it. I've been married all right, and they wouldn't let me disgrace myself by writing them letters to him. Finally, I came on to Hot Springs. For a while, I cooked and washed. Then I started working for folks regularly. For nine years, though, I mostly washed and ironed. Who all did you work for? Do you know Miss Hudgens? I worked for her a long time. Worked for her before she went away and after she came back. Between times, I cooked for Miss Budden House. When Miss Julia comes back, she marches right down to Miss House and House and tells me she wants to work for me again. Work for me to work for her again. Mm -hmm. I can't get her now, says Miss House. But anyhow, I went to see her and I went back to work for her. Pretty foxy Miss Julia was was. Oh, pretty fast as you really did was. <laughs> I've been working for Mr. Eisel uh, pretty near 25 years. Saw her children grow up and the grandchildren. Lance and he's my partner. He used to scare me. The folks would go off to a party or a show and leave me alone with the baby. Were you afraid you would be hurt somehow? No, I wasn't scared of myself. I thought somebody might come in and kidnap that baby. No matter how late they was, I'd sit on the top of the stairs leading to his room. How long do you think you'll keep working? Will you stop soon? I don't know, Miss Mary. The other day, Joni, my daughter, called up here and she started crying. Lots of folks write a note to say she's bad to let me work. Somebody told her that they had seen me going to work about 4 o'clock in the morning. There wasn't no such. I asked the man when I was on the way what time it was, and he said it was 25 minutes till 5. <laughs> Besides, my clock had stopped working at that point. That still seems awful early, man. Yes, Miss Mary. I just get here sort of early, but then I like it. I just sit in the kitchen until the folks get up. Anyhow, Mr. Isa is always so good to me. When they go away to Florida, I can go to the store and get my real home. But it's always good to see them come back. Miss Ma says I'm sure to go to heaven. I'm such a good person, she says. No work. No, Miss Ma. Um, I'm not going to quit working. Not until I get older. Thank <laughs> you.